tonight on 2030. Good people in bad situations. Poor Romeo never knew what was going to happen when his wife didn't actually die. And now we go out to visit the crime scene with our ice reporter, John Johnson. Hey there, Bill. We're just a couple miles away from uh, where it's where it all happened. And we've got, a, it turns out to be three deaths. We've got a suicide, two suicides and a murder. Uh, a pair of students who have been murdered by Romeo, uh, what reports show, but uh, both Romeo and Juliet committed suicide shortly after the murder. They were uh, in their tomb. They are now lying together, dead for eternity. No one knows what's going to happen next, but get back to you. So we're back with the key player in all of this. Brian No, no, no. She took his knife and she... She what? She oh, stabbed herself. No. Yes. Now we're joined by an eyewitness who came with Paris on that terrible night. So, Paige, I just, uh, what happened? What do you know about such a horrible event? Well, you see, I was I was with uh, Paris. I'm on this page, and uh, we were bringing flowers to Julia. Oh, yes, I'm there. And uh, well, there was this boy there. Is Romeo was his name. And uh, we were we were we were gonna we were gonna bring an interesting news. Opening the tomb. Oh, a grave Jesus. robber. He was robbing the grave. Yeah, uh, and all of a sudden, Paris totally like flinched out. Stop that. He pulled out his sword and started fighting stuff. Uh, uh, I think Paris is kind of old. He's a little slower. And he punched him. No, he got stabbed by Romeo. Oh, no. Yeah. And he died. Did he die? Yeah, I, I, well, I, I don't know. I, I left to go get someone before, before they could, uh, oh, what? finish. Oh, but, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, we're now joined by none other than the father of Juliet. 
Sister Capulet, who has been mourning for days over the loss of his daughter. Sister Capulet, how do you feel about the death of the young, beautiful Juliet? I'm really frustrated with her because if she had just listened to me and married Paris like I told her to, then a lot of people would still be living. And if it weren't for that stupid Montague boy who follows hormones and yes. being at that age, um, he would have been fine. And he wouldn't have had to get banished or kill himself and now, in the now, end. Now, Mr. Capulet, let's talk, talk about Rosie. Let's talk about what would have happened if you had found out about Juliet and Romeo Suter. I, I would have gotten a hold of him and told him, if you see my daughter again, I'm going to get the prince out here and I'm going to have him execute you in front of her. So yes. That way, that way she would feel really bad about her decisions and you would get it. Good parenting. Yeah. And she would be proud. Yes. Games online, fourth quarter. All we need to share is a stop. That's all we need. And oh my gosh. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a uh, sack. Hey coach. I said a sack. Like a good neighbor, Steve Brown is there with a sack. Oh I'm my god, sack. Oh, plane's going back. Oh. oh. We go over to George White for just a little more information about Juliet and Romeo. Thanks, Bill. Uh, we actually got a lead in this case. We found a note under Romeo's bed talking about the night him and Juliet fell in love. Now, we're not for sure that this is leading anywhere, but it talks about things like how she'll love him forever and that if he truly loves her, they'll get married later. And so we're thinking maybe this has a part to do with the double suicide of Romeo and Juliet. And also, her uh Romeo's father came forward with a, a postcard Romeo sent to him uh, when he was banished. It says, Dear Father, I regret to say that I've been banished from the fair city of Verona. Thou may ask why and I tell, I tell you that I've been banished for the murder of Tybalt. It was justified in my eyes, for he killed Mercutio. I'm very depressed, for in my banishment means that I may never see my wife again, Juliet. I was only mildly lucky as the prince didn't put me to death, but to be away from Juliet equals death, one the same. That shows just right there that he has strong feelings for Juliet and that he's willing to do anything, and I'd say this is probably a really good lead. Back to you, Bill. You're now joined by an expert on suicide, Jacoby Jones. Hi, how are you doing today, Dan? I'm great. Uh, we just want you to explain some of the signs of suicide, how they can prevent them, and what your opinion is on suicide. Um, well, suicide, it's horrible. It's the saddest thing I've ever thought of. Or somebody taking their life is always an emotional, hard topic to take on. But some of the signs that you may notice in a person and to prevent it maybe from happening is like they may be a little more depressed, a Debbie Downer at school or at work or whatever, they're just never happy. Um, they become very distant, so you, you guys may have been close friends and then they just slowly crept away and you don't know why, and you just see the depression also. Or they just have a lack of appetite at lunch, they're not, they're not eating, they're not doing anything. And, you know, it's just things like that, things that you notice that their behavior is changing and not good change. That's that's some of the key signs of suicide. And to prevent it, if, if you see that happening, get them to a therapist, talk yeah. with them. Yeah, someone, show they know, them, someone they trust. Yeah, yeah, show them they're not alone. Just make sure they know that they feel that they're wanted in this world. Uh, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, you know, I think about suicide, it's just like, it tears families apart because, I mean, all the guilt involved, because then other people start thinking that it's their fault that they took their lives, and it's just, it's a horrible, selfish deed, actually. Yeah, and it's like, 
it's like, how can you live with yourself knowing that you could have done something right. and you didn't? Mm -hmm. I know it's just it's just a painful topic and it's really hard to grasp, but it happens out there in the real world. And, um, I think that sums it up. Is do what you can. Yep, and now back to the studio. And that's all for this evening on 3020. No, a fine case of the double suicide of Romeo and Juliet.